Welcome to the Innovation and Technology Center located at Abacor Benzel's U.S. headquarters. So from here, we can test application data, we can demonstrate new products for our customers and provide virtual feedback if needed. So in these series of videos we're about to shoot, we're going to step up in complexity. We're going to start pretty simple and by the end use dual torches and stitch welding and what have you. The idea here is to provide a reference you can come back to if you need, or maybe even see the Abbey Car and applications that you might not have been exposed to. So we're going to start with that simple setup with an Abbey Car Advanced right after this. But say you place an order, box shows up, what's actually in it, and what do we need to get started? So it's going to come with the unit. It's going to come with a couple of simple guide uh, rails to be able to push up against a rigid surface like this. It's going to come with a torch mount. Uh, it's going to come with a power lead. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but this does not come off the unit. Just keep that in mind. The only other thing that's going to come in the box is this trigger lead. All right, so we're going to want to connect this here. And the other side is this is going to go back and send the signal from the Abbey car back to your welding unit to start and stop the yard. Pretty straightforward. It's color coded. Um, but if you have any questions on this, please reach out to us. So other than that, all we really need is uh, a torch to use with it. Now we have a couple of different options. You can use a torch that you have. Uh, we can use a manual MIG torch. Well, we can use an aught torch or essentially a, a machine torch. And we're gonna wanna attach this here. So that's really all you need. The trigger lead goes back, tells it to turn, turn the torch on and off. And there's just a few simple settings. And first what we wanna do is attach these simple guide rolls. Now, in this application where we're using up against a rigid structure, there's something we want to think about called angle of attack. So we want to think about we're going to try to move from left to right. So to initiate or to set an angle of attack, we want to say set the leading edge one notch shorter than the trailing edge. So this one we have three or four there. So we want to make this one just a little bit longer. Now keep in mind, this is just to essentially drive the Abbey car into the rigid structure, into the, the support back here, to keep the torch pressed up against the seam we're trying to weld. So at this point, we're going we're gonna to weld from left to right. We have the, the guide rolls set up, it's pressed up against the, the surface that we're going to kind of guide the Abbey car with. The only thing left to do now is just do some coarse torch adjustment. So we're going to put this in here, the torch holder. Kind of roughly get it into a place where we kind of need. So we're able to use this cross slide to kind of get the, the, the torch tip exactly where you want it. At this point, we're ready to weld. So make sure that the switches are in the neutral positions before you power it on. If you keep these in left or right or the test mode, uh, it'll default out. So now that we're here, we have the trigger lead wired up. We have power to the unit. Really, the only thing that we start with is this, is this digital readout is going to give us the traverse speed. Say we want to traverse at 12 inches per minute. Make sure these are neutral. Now, we can use this switch to test the arc. Pop it up. It's going to spark. We want to put it in run. Now, as soon as we flip this switch left to right, arc is going to start. And it's going to weld a continuous speed. As you see, it ramps up to 12 inches per minute. And now we're going to use these cross slides to kind of self-adjust, say it's, we're a little high, we want to move that, that tip down a little bit. And it's really just that simple. So uh, in this application, we're just doing a, a continuous weld. Um, we want to set it for kind of a, a sweet spot of speed. This is all based on weld parameters that you already have set up. Um, but keep in mind, even when it's running, if you're starting to realize that we need to speed up a little bit, that can actually be accomplished while it's running. So the operator that's kind of monitoring the, the, the cross slides can also monitor the speed and be able to make those adjustments during operation. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So in this application, we're just using a, a continuous weld um, with a rigid backstop that kind of guides that Abbey car along its path. But there's a couple things you might want to think of if you're having issues. The first is check the trigger lead. Um, I've actually had that happen to me in the field a few times. Uh, so a great place to start. The second one may be bad grounding, um, but then also make sure that those switches are in neutral before you power that unit on. Uh, that can throw a fault as well. 
So you can find all this information on our website. Uh, please feel free to reach out to our team and have any questions about the Abbey car, we'd be happy to help. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, instead of the rigid, um, the rigid backstop, we're gonna use a flexible guide rail and show you how to install that and some of the benefits of using that. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.